snowmobile riders. It's illegal to operate off designated trails after a Concord man sustained serious injuries after a North Country crash this weekend. Conservation Officer Adam Cheney says 34-year-old Joshua Carlson was riding a snow machine off trail late Saturday afternoon when he fell off and hit a tree, reportedly getting a stick stuck in his head. Conservation officers in Pittsburgh Fire and Rescue responded to Stevens Road in Pittsburgh about 4.30 Saturday afternoon after Carlson and other riders made it to the road from the incident near Indian Stream and called for help. 45th Parallel EMS took Carlson to Upper Connecticut Valley Hospital in Colebrook with injuries described as serious but not life-threatening. Cheney says the crash appears to have been caused by carelessness and environmental factors. The National Weather Service has issued a flood watch starting late tonight through Tuesday evening, warning that heavy rain, snow melt, and ice jams may create flooding. The watch area includes southern Carroll County in New Hampshire and southern Oxford and Cumberland counties in Maine. Forecasters predict up to an inch and a half of rain to fall overnight tonight with locally higher amounts possible. That could cause flooding on rivers, small creeks, and low-lying urban areas, as well as possible ice jams on rivers. A flood watch means there's a potential for flooding based on current forecasts. Forecasters say you should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Anyone living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. In Maine News, one of Maine's two state psychiatric centers has eliminated its backlog of applications for concealed carry gun permits and is now turning around screening requests in about a day and a half. The Portland Press Herald reports that a year ago, Riverview Psychiatric Center was taking an average of 11 days to conduct the screenings. Along with Bangor's Dorothea Dix Psychiatric Center, Riverview is responsible for checking whether someone who applies for a concealed carry firearms permit has ever been involuntarily committed to a state hospital. In a sh recent report, the hospital attributed the shorter turnaround time to the use of email to handle medical records. The entire permitting process that also involves police and the courts takes one or two months. In sports, the Manchester Monarchs got a 5-2 win over the Worcester Sharks in Massachusetts yesterday afternoon. The Providence Bruins beat the Portland Pirates 7-2 in Providence. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats lost 11-5 to the Trenton Thunder in New Jersey yesterday. The Portland Sea Dogs lost 4-3 to the Reading Phillies. And the Milwaukee Brewers completed a three-game sweep of the Boston Red Sox with a 4-0 win yesterday. The Connecticut women's basketball team will play Notre Dame tomorrow night in the title game for the NCAA. It will be the first women's national championship matchup of unbeaten teams. And Connecticut and Kentucky will play tonight in the NCAA championship game. New York Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter has moved into eighth place on baseball's all-time hits list by going two for five in a 6-4 win over Toronto. He now has 3,320 hits, one more than Paul Molitor, and 99 behind Carl Yastrzemski. In the weather, partly sunny today, eyes of the mid-50s. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour this morning, becoming light. Rain likely in the evening tonight, then rain or sleet after midnight. A flood watch in effect for southern Carroll County in western Maine until Tuesday evening. Lows in the mid-30s, east winds around 10 miles per hour after midnight. And rain on Tuesday, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. From the Mount Washington Radio Group Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie.